This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. What's good, y'all? Here with Spence, Albert crack. Burton, the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> and Dev Williams, what's good, fellas? What's up? You know, what's up? dream team right here. Best amateur MMA and kickboxing program in the city. Come check us out. He gonna, he gonna put all the details in the details, you feel me? All you gotta do is hit that button at the bottom. Make sure y'all subscribe to my man before you do anything else. I Let's appreciate this question. I appreciate it. Um, how did uh, COVID affect y'all? Because I know y'all were rolling. Uh, aren't, um, all your fighters undefeated? Yeah, all our fighters undefeated. He had guys in the Golden Gloves. We had guys get ready for WKA Nationals, and you know just basic amateur MMA circuit. And we had we were winning everything. Like we had our, our guys barely losing. We might have lost six rounds out of all the fights our guys had. We yeah. haven't lost a fight. You feel me? So yeah. You were rolling, but you know, it, it sets people back. You know, some are comfortable with coming into the gym during this time. You know, some are just uncomfortable. They got kids, they got family, they, they, the girl might be pregnant or something like that. We got respect to everybody. We can't really ridicule them for whatever situation they're in. That's just outside of the business part of it. Of course, the business is like, you know, it's a gym and they telling you to shut your shit down. So, but, you know, it is what it is. We're going to keep the ball moving. By the way, that's it. I mean, uh, had a lot of guys on the track getting ready to do something, but that's a, that's the problem with having all AMI guys. Yeah. No money amateur. No one. I'm not gonna make somebody risk their life for their life, yeah. or their life of somebody in your family over an amateur fight. So yeah. if it stops, it stops. It stop. When it starts back up, we just in there. That's it. So we, we good, but. I mean, we not. But. We ain't good. We ain't good. So we it's one of those good. type of situations. Ain't nobody good, but it's all good. Yeah. All right. There was a fight this past Saturday. Yeah. Kobe Covington versus Tyrone Woodley. Yeah, now, that wasn't he, a fight, man. Was, even, even though this is his third straight loss, Woodley says he's not going to retire. Do you, you agree? Can, you can't never tell a fighter when to retire, but I always, I always want guys to recognize this. I understand that. All right, let me re, let me re, let me rephrase it. It's all about what you're in the sport for. If you're in the sport to prove you the best, and clearly you're nowhere near that anymore, you just need to retire. If you foot in the sport for the check, balance out is your health worth these diminishing checks? Because your money only go one direction when you keep losing fights. Is it worth your health? Because you're losing worse every time. You're losing worse every time. And is it worth people banging on your head? And when they release the numbers, it's like, you know, a couple hundred thousand is good, but it ain't worth my, you know, me not being able to talk. So at the end of the day, when he lost to Usman, he should have had a conversation about moving up. Everybody knows the weight cut has always killed him. I don't care what nobody say, you can't be that big at that weight class and the weight don't kill you. All right, we seeing that with Paulo Costa now. Like, he, he is jacked as you can be. He like the Tyron Woodley of the 85. It's like, how is you that big in that 85? But it's a cost for cutting weight to get like that every single time you fight. And you can't, you can only do that. But he also, wait, 38, 37, 38 now? 38. 38? You, yeah, you in, your late, you in your late 30s, you're not getting better. You seem like you're getting worse. You already tried switching up, you know, training regimens. You already tried going over over across the pond to get some different work. And it's just getting worse. So, since you retire, everybody think you should retire. But it's all about what you want to do. If, is your health and your legacy worth it? That's all I'm going to say. That's the type of conversation I would have my fighter. You a grown man, you will do what you gotta do, but you know, that just is what it is. But also it might be one of those things where he might need to fight. You know, he burnt a lot of bridges talking shit during his career. We never seen him with a bunch of sponsors. We never seen him doing commercials. He ain't even got the Modelo's commercial like every other fighter seemed to get. So he might need this type of money. Who knows? But I just don't think it's worth your health and your legacy. I'm like, you got, you should by now have a decent amount, even if you got like, you know, 300,000 saved up to go ahead and make a pivot and, and start doing something else. At this point, you can open your own gym, and, like your own ATT branch and make a lot of money, but, you know, do, do you. But don't he commentate too? He post fight, does post fights, right? He, yeah, uh, does he do post fights? If he do, it's not memorable. Yeah, well, I, we talked about this. All I can say is that if you look at, the last 
14 rounds Woodley has. He is not Not won. including the one we not including the one he got finished. The one he got finished in. We don't count that. It's technically 15, but we're not gonna count the way he got finished in. We're not gonna count that. The last 14 rounds. You done rounds. Got, you done got demolished. He got demolished. If you, you done got you're demolished not, 14 rounds. If you're not getting fair one, if you if you've taken losses like Cerrone, like Cerrone, he takes losses, but he he you done lost for an hour and a half straight, straight, bro. You done lost for an hour and a half straight, bro. Bigfoot Silva ain't lose for an hour and a half straight. He was getting yeah. knocked out by everybody. I bro, was... hang him up. You trying to be nice, yo. Hang up the gloves, <laughs> T. Wood. This is this is not me trying to be a sound, but I'm going to get close to the camera let you know, bro. Bro, brother to brother, yo. Let that shit go. It ain't worth it. Your kids going to watch this shit later on. You want you, you got sons, bro. You got brothers. You got a mom. Like you got a good family. Don't do this shit. Stop putting them through this shit, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, I have no idea. Do another sport. Don't don't <laughs> just do something else, bro. Doesn't he rap? Stop that, bro. Stop. <laughs> Stop, dude. Like you know what I'm saying. He actually came out to you. His a own good, song. you intelligent dude. I'm really. I want. I want you to look at this. I'm a DM this shit to you too, and to your manager. I want you to look at this. I'm talking to you man to man. I'm not trying to be funny at all. You an intelligent dude. Fighting ain't, you, you, you act like all you got is fighting. You got way more than fighting, bro. Everybody know you got way more than fighting. Stop this shit, man. Your legacy and your head health ain't worth this shit, man. For you, you ain't got shit to prove nobody else. You one of the most dominant welterweight. Can't nobody say shit about your record, man. I mean, can't nobody say shit about your record except now. But I'm saying when you was at the top, you knocked out Robbie. You beat Wonder Boy twice. You beat you beat the people they put in front of you, and they was all good guys. Just stop, man. It's past your time, man. It's past you not GSP. You ain't gonna come leave for years and come back. You never been that dude. Just chill, man. Just just lay down. I don't want to see it to the point where they start feeding you the 155ers coming up. They had Khabib throwing your ass around and shit like that. You already know they gonna they gonna feed you to that young dude that uh. One by 17 seconds. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know you next yeah. in line for that, right? History say you on your way out. He on his way up. He go, And they see you getting finished. You getting slow. You ain't been knocked out except for that Nate Marquardt fight. Let's not forget about that shit, bro. Don't get slept by this little Russian kid because, or whatever he is yeah, because you got pride, man. Fuck that. I'm not for people getting their head hurt, man. This, this shit ain't worth it. Now.